वेलकम टू राजेंद्र टंडन वीडियोज वी कंटिन्यू विद फोर फर्दर श्लोकाज ऑफ भर्तरी हरिज श्रृंगार शतकम श्लोकाज नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवन एंड सिक्सटी एट ऑफ माई कंपाइलेशन पब्लिश बाय रूपा एंड कंपनी भर्तृहरि ऑक्युपाइज ए प्रोमिनेंट प्लेस अमंग द एंशियंट पोर्ट्स ऑफ संस्कृत लिटरेचर he belong to the eminent tradition of valmiki vyas and kalidas his output was not very large but it had a brilliant quality of thought and imagination he wrote prose as well as verse as it pleased him however all his writing is pithy compact and original in imagery there is a remarkable depth in his thinking on subjects as diverse as polity in a civilized society erotica and total renunciation on these three subjects he wrote 100 shlokas each under the title niti shatakam shringar shatakam and vairagya shatakam in due course i would be covering all the 300 shlokas in videos for the pleasure and entertainment of my listeners bhartrihari was a king a jilted lover a ladies man and a gifted poet his shringar shatakam is erotic filigree delicately carved in rich detail In this anthology Bhartri Hari deals with the themes of love separation of deceit of handevu end of burning passion From the innocent to the well versed Bhartri Hari has something to ignite and yet entertain the mind of anyone aesthetically inclined Shringar Shatakam is different from Kama Sutra it excites because it deals subtly with human emotions of love and rejection the first shloka which i take up today delineates how even the greatest of rishis succumb to the charms of women राइट्स भर्तरी हरि विश्वामित्र पराशर प्रभृते हो पाताम्बु पर्ण अछाना ते अपनी स्त्री मुख पंकजम सुललित दृष्टव्य मोहम गता शाल्यन्न संहृत पयोधतुत ये भुंजते मानवास्ते श्याम इंद्रिय निग्रहो यदि भवेत विंध्य प्लवेत सागरे इवन द ग्रेट सेज इज लाइक विश्वामित्र पराशर एंड अदर्स हु हैड बीन सब्सिस्टिंग ऑन ए डाइट ऑफ एयर वाटर एंड लीव्स ऑफ द ट्रीज succumb to the charms of women with lotus like faces how then as bhartri hari can ordinary mortals who manage with ghee milk the curds and cereals like wheat control their senses how can they control their kama their vasana to make love to a woman for these men to control their passions is as impossible as the vindhachal mountain floating in the sea it will sink vishwamitra was an ancient sage whose meditation was interrupted by menaka a celestial nymph deputed by lord indra the god of gods so that he 
as a reward could not earn the boon of power over gods vishwamitra which literally means a friend of the universe entire universe could not resist the charms of menaka and their union gave birth to shakuntala who in turn gave birth to bharat a prince after whom india is known as bharat varsha shakuntala is immortalized by kalidas the greatest of sanskrit poets in his play of the same name abhigyana shakuntalam the initial story occurs in the mahabharata parashar was another great sage who fell in love with satyabati daughter of a fisherman she bore him a child who grew up to be vyas one of the greatest poets ever born the celebrated author of the epic mahabharata vindhyachal is a mountain range in central india moving on to shloka 65 shloka 66 i am sorry bhartrihari writes sansare asmin nasare kunripati bhavan dwar seva avlambya वस्तु धैर्य कथम अमल धियो मानसाम सन्निध्य भैव यत एता प्रोद्यता इंदु द्युति निश्चया भृतो न शिव अंबोज नेत्रा प्रेम खटा काची कलाप स्तन भरा विनमा मध्य भाग्य तरुण्य बट फॉर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अट्रैक्टिव वुमेन हु आर रेस्प्लेंडेंट लाइक द ग्लोरियस फुल मून हुज आईज आर शेप्ड लाइक अनओपन लोटस बर्ड्स हुज बॉडी अब देयर वेस्ट इज लेडन विद द हैवी फ्रूट ऑफ देयर सम्चुअस ब्रेस men of pure wisdom would not be seeking employment with evil masters the poet means that under the compulsion of to feed their families that these people have to serve even bad masters and suffer indignities and discomfort as a consequence bhartriyari's description of women is always colorful the body above the waist is laden with heavy fruit of their sumptuous breasts it's a delicious image as delicious as the heavy fruit they move with the bells of their waist bands melodiously tinkling the entire thing is exciting and i have added pictures to this video to elaborate on this subject in 67 bhartri hari takes up another issue siddhadyasthit kandare har vrish skandh av gadh drume गंगा धौत शिला तले हिमवत स्थान स्थित श्रेयसी का कुरुवीत शिरा प्रणाम म्लानम मान सेवते जनो यत वित्रस्त कुरुंग शाव नैना ना शिव स्मर अस्त्रम स्त्रीय 
भर्तरी हरी राइट्स नो सेल्फ रेस्पेक्टिंग मैन ऑफ लॉफ्टी आइडियल्स वुड हैव डेसिक्रेट इज हिज फोर हेड बाई रबिंग इट एट द डोर ऑफ अदर्स बट फॉर इज नीड टू सस्टेन इज वूमेन whose eyes are full of fear like those of a doe but with which she can tame him with a glance her weapon of love otherwise such a man would have continued to live in the most pleasant surroundings of the himalayas in a cave fit for the habitation of the siddhas or the gandharvas the siddhas are a, are saints with supernatural powers Gandharvas are celestial singers. He could have lived under a large tree fit for Nandi, the great bull of the Lord Shiva, to scratch his back upon, or still better, on the cool rocks, where the holy Ganges has descended from the heavens. In a nutshell, the poet is telling us that but for the desire to live with a charming woman, make love to her. A man could have lived happily on the banks of the Ganges in meditation or singing bhajans, religious songs. So it is calm which is motivating people. A beautiful woman makes a man humble in front of others. That is what Bhatri Hari says in this shloka. Some people say that Bhatri Hari says that woman alone is the cause of man's humiliation in the world. I won't put it that way. The woman is uplifts a man, makes him happy, and if he has to work. to sustain her and himself what is wrong with it in 68 bhartri hari makes an interesting formulation sansar udhi nistar padvi na daviyasi dusra na syu yadi re madirekshana he is addressing the whole world it will be a child's play to cross over to paradise from this earth if there were no lovelies with intoxicating eyes in the world such women detain the man on the earth he doesn't want to live they provide an insurmountable barrier between the world and the other one it's a lovely idea the lover wants to live longer to be with his beloved as long as possible so his exit is delayed he works hard he maintains his health he maintains his diet so that he can be with her the poet has put it in his own way that a man could depart for the other world if there were no women to detain him on this earth It's a very interesting situation. We take up four more shlokas of Bhartri Hari in the next video. Thank you for listening to me and visiting this site.